Equinox Observations, Flat Earth and Globe Earth, Part 2, Horizon Angle of Sunrise and Sunset. This is the second video of our six video series, and we're going to record the angle that the sun makes when it does sunrise or when it sets. Preparation and tools. You'll need a flat horizon or a carpenter's level. Any camera will do, even a cell phone camera. And we'll use a simple image layering tool, such as Photoshop or even a slideshow app like PowerPoint or Keynote. Be sure to make, mark the spot where you stand to take your photo so you can stand in the exact same spot each time with your camera over that spot for consistency. If you have a flat horizon, that's great. You'll measure your angle from there. If you don't have a flat horizon, you can do a little trick with your cell phone or with your camera. Let's say you're using a cell phone camera. Simply layer a carpenter's level on top to make sure your camera is absolutely horizontal. Making careful observations, otherwise known as taking a pair of photos. We're going to take two images. One of them will be very close to sunrise and the other one an hour later. Or you can take one an hour before sunset and the other one at the moment of sunset. Make sure you stand in the exact same spot each time and use the exact same zoom. Post-processing using a, your favorite image editor such as Photoshop or you can use a slideshow app. In PowerPoint, there is a tool called Remove Background, whereas in Keynote, it is called Instant Alpha. We're going to use this to remove the background. So here are two sample images, and these are fake images just for illustration purposes only. But what I tried to illustrate is that maybe your framing isn't going to be exactly the same. Maybe the, you know, the, the stuff doesn't line up. Also, notice that the sun, when it gets higher in the sky, it might be brighter and maybe it's flaring a little bit, so you can't really uh, see the you know, the, uh, the exact same size as the other one. And all these things are fine. So what we're going to do is we're first going to copy the photo on the right so that we don't mess up the original. And then we're going to snap an image out of the left-hand photo that captures this uh, sunrise sun. Now using this smaller subset image, we are going to remove the background using one of our tools like the Instant Alpha tool. So now that the background's removed, and just for illustration purposes, I've added a pink glowing background so you can kind of see it a little bit better. We're going to actually place this over top of the right-hand image. And so, as you can see, it, uh, it, you kind of tweak it so you can kind of line up all the buildings. But if you've taken the photos at exactly the same spot, everything should line up quite nicely. Now we're going to see this image full screen. So all you need to do is draw a line through the center of these uh, suns. Again, it doesn't matter that the suns are two different sizes. We're just going to draw a line through the middle and measure the angle. In this case, it's 58 degrees from the horizontal. So let's take a look at whether this supports the globe Earth or flat Earth. So again, on the equinox, on the globe Earth, there is effectively no tilt to the Earth's axis, whereas on the flat Earth, the sun is simply tracing a circle right above the equator. So on the globe Earth model at the North Pole, we don't really have sunrise or sunset. The sun is simply going to be uh, tracing a, a horizontal path across the, um, a, 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 across the horizon. In other words, at 90 degrees latitude, uh, the sun moves at a zero degree angle. On the opposite end, uh, at the equator, again, we're, this is zero degrees latitude, but the sunrise and sunset angle is going to be 90 degrees. This means there's an inverse relationship between sunrise sunset angle and latitude. So on the globe Earth model, the sunrise sunset horizon angle on the equinox is going to be 90 degrees minus your latitude. So let's take a look at our example. Remember, our example image showed a 58 degree angle. So it's possible that maybe that photo was taken in Amman, Jordan, which has a latitude of 31 degrees 56 minutes. This is just a sample only. Um, please don't draw any conclusions. I just, I just made up this data. So on the flat earth model, the sun does not actually set. The sun simply traces a path parallel to the plane of the flat earth. So on the flat earth model, sunrise and sunset is due to the combination of perspective and the vanishing point because technically the sun never sets over the plane of the flat earth. This means that the sunrise sunset angle is going to have no relationship to latitude. Um, the sun, sun may rise and set, but the angle that we see simply does not, does not relate in any way, shape, or form to latitude. If you'd like to share your results, uh, you can go to the message board set up by YouTube user Cara Diane at flatearthmath.boards.net. 
You can share your location and your sunrise or sunset horizon angle. Our next video is going to be on the zenith angle of the sun. And to do this, you just simply need a homemade solar clinometer, which requires a plastic protractor. Remember to please be kind whenever possible, because it is always possible. Thank you.